I'm Luke Tibble, uh, Revo Developments. I'm the Global Project Manager for the company. I started here around seven and a half years ago um, to come on board and do a whole hardware division for the business. Yeah, so Revo, we are a performance aftermarket tuning company. Uh, we focus predominantly on the Volkswagen Audi Group vehicles and Ford Performance models, and that's doing both ECU tuning and now all the full hardware. So we recently got the Stratasys F370 printer, new FDN model. Um, for us, it was a real good upgrade from our old resin printer that we had. The build volume straight away was something that was a standout for us. Um, having access to something that much larger allowed us to start printing in full size uh, in one piece, um, more so than having to sort of split parts up and having to jigsaw them together, which we used to have to do with our old printer. Having the heated chamber is a real game changer for us as well because it allowed us to have the confidence that when we're printing full height parts, we're not going to lose any sort of distortion. Whilst you pay a little bit more for it, I think the confidence you get for it and the quality of the parts ultimately from those printers is, is a standout. The TPU material has been a massive one for us. Um, being able to essentially replicate a silicon hose that we would have tooled up before um, and then had to wait for parts to come in, we can now take that fully printed part, do bench flow testing and then some, in some cases we can actually test fit that onto a car straight away and actually run it for a small period of time depending on the sort of temperature range we're working within. Previously, I'd have said from initial design concept through to having a sample that was a finished article to run on a car, could have been anywhere from maybe four to eight weeks depending on the, the type of hose it was. Now we can scan within a few hours the hose we're looking at Depending on how complex the actual drawing is, the drawing would take another few days. Test prints in the part on the 370 takes anywhere from two to four days, depending on the size of the part. Test fitting within a day. Um, if we're happy with that, we can send it straight out for tooling. The tooling time has been reduced by probably half by being able to provide a actual sample to our, our suppliers to build a tool from, as opposed to just working from 2D drawings previously. They can then tool that up for us, have us a sample back probably within a few weeks now. So we've done projects in the past where we've actually gone straight from a 3D CAD model uh, into full carbon tooling, spent quite a few thousand having the tooling done, and then we've actually come to the testing stage of it before we were ever able to 3D print. We've actually realised the design wasn't what we were looking for. Had we been able to have 3D printed that, we'd have done all this sort of development much closer to the start of the project and never lost the money that we spent on the carbon tooling. That alone, you know, saving thousands and just tooling is, is for me is invaluable. I think for Revo it's more about the quality that we're putting out. We never like to put anything out rushed into the market just to have a part out there. It's much more about it's got to work, it's got to function, it's got to do a job correctly. Um, We'd much rather know that what we're doing with the scanning and the printing side of things is perfect fitment rather than just a quick product. Um, and that 370 printer allows us to do that every time now. I think in terms of how far technology has come now, they're a lot more accessible than what you might think they are. Um, in terms of costings, you can literally go pretty much spend from what you want to what you want. It, it's one of those nowadays, and I think even the lower end of the market has such good quality stuff out there from the likes of Stratasys that you can get from their smaller printers up to whatever you want to spend. There is something for everybody out there. And I think the deals that are available, the support you get from companies like SYS as well within that is a no-brainer. Like It's definitely the way forward for any sort of R&D.